We've talked about what to do with a two bolt anchor. Just clip a couple quick draws. You can do various things with a double length runner or a cordelette. Here's a next level technique that will give you a self equalizing anchor. The basic self equalizing anchor, which I don't really recommend, is called a Magic X. Um, the one I really don't recommend is the Death V, where you just clip right here. What happens if I just clip right here without doing the Magic X is if one point unclips or fails somehow, you're not safe. Um, so the Magic X controls that. It closes the system. You take one leg of your anchor, one strand, and twist it. Okay, that's now closed this system so that if I have my master point here and one bolt fails or comes unclipped somehow, it does extend quite a lot, but we have trapped the carabiner, uh, whatever we're using for our master point, by putting that twist in the system. So that's better than the Death V. The Magic X uh, has the advantage that it is self-equalizing. As I change the angle uh, of the anchor, it stays equalized between the two legs, but it has a lot of extension. If it comes undone somehow, you're shock loading the other leg quite a bit. So you can have the advantage of the Magic X that it's self-equalizing without quite as much extension by adding limiting knots. A simple overhand is great. I'm putting an overhand on one leg and I will estimate where my master point is going to be and put an overhand on the other leg. And now I have a self-equalizing anchor with a lot less extension. If one point fails, boom, that limiting knot keeps it from going too far. That was only a few inches of extension. So yeah, you're going to shock load the other leg, but not as much. You can do the same thing with a cordelette. Uh, and some people bring these pre-rigged. They just carry it on their harness like so, ready to go. So same thing with a cordelette. Looks like this. I would double the entire thing and then tie a limiting knot on one leg. Clip that. Tie a limiting knot on the other leg. Notice I've got my flat overhand that links my cordelette into a loop uh, up here on that leg where it's out of my way. Okay, and now if I clip here, that's a death V. I need to make sure to either take, uh, there are a couple ways to do this, take two strands and twist in that magic X. That's now trapping the master point. All right, so self-equalizing. We've got limiting knots to reduce the extension and, and we have trapped the master point in there. Uh, another way that I see a lot of people doing it, that's great, is you simply leave one strand out any one, clip the other three, and that has the same effect of trapping your master point. Carabiners closing the system, so if one point fails, we're not just flying off the end of our material. Um, I like to use these self-equalizing uh, systems. The most common anchor that I build off of two bolts, uh, if I'm setting a top rope, is three. Again, I use my steel Ovals, because they last forever, they don't wear, I don't wear grooves in them. I make a sliding X with limiting knots. Now if people are traversing back and forth, this is staying equalized. And I have a nice wide shelf to limit friction. That is an anchor that I build all the time.